Possession change, infringements and penalties. Possession changes after a team has had possession for six touches and the ball is given to the other team where the last touch occurred. The referee will usually blow the whistle and hold both hands high in the air. If a team drops the ball during passing or pick up by the half at the roll ball, possession changes and the ball is given to the other team where the ball was dropped. The referee will usually indicate by showing a downward motion with both hands. Possession changes if a team performs an incorrect roll ball and possession also changes after a touchdown has been scored. Although touch is a simple game, penalties may be awarded by the referee if players don't observe the playing rules. If the referee sees an infringement, the referee will blow the whistle and award a penalty. After blowing the whistle, the referee will use a hand signal to indicate the infringement and call out what the infringement was. The referee will then indicate where the infringement occurred. Then, the referee will indicate to the offending team to retire 10 metres from the penalty mark. And then play may recommence with the referee usually calling play on. The most common infringement is offside by defending players at the roll ball. After a touch has been made, all defending players are required to move backwards or retire not less than 5 metres from where the touch was made. At the start or restart of the game, or when a penalty tap is awarded, defending players must move backwards or retire 10 metres. In summary, roll balls are used to restart after possession change. Possession changes at the end of six touches. Possession changes following a dropped ball or knock-on. Possession changes following an incorrect roll ball and possession changes following a ball over the sideline. Taps are used at the beginning of the game, after half time, after a touchdown and for all awarded penalties. This resource is a summary of the Federation of International Touch Playing Rules. The game is now played in more than 40 countries worldwide. Touch is a skillful but simple game to play. The rules are few and are easy to understand. The game is applicable to everyone from young children to more mature folk and mixed gender competitions remain very popular. All participants should endeavour to learn the basic rules of the game to enhance enjoyment and satisfaction and to gain the benefits of this social and skill-oriented team sport. Many personal, physical, emotional and health opportunities exist and the benefits to the community are significant. But most of all, it's fun to play. Touch the sport for all.